Hi everybody, today is November 22nd, 2013. I found an interesting article about John F. K. versus the Federal Reserve on June 4th, 1963, the same year that Kennedy was assassinated. A virtually unknown presidential decree was signed with the authority to basically strip the Federal Reserve Bank of its power to loan money to the United States government with interest. With the stroke of a pen, President Kennedy declared that the privately owned Federal Reserve Bank would soon be out of business. The Christian Law Fellowship has extensively researched this matter through the Federal Register and Library of Congress. We can now safely conclude that this executive order has never been repealed, amended, or superseded by any subsequent executive order. In simple terms, it is still valid. Well, if they got rid of it, I think it would raise a lot of questions. It would bring it to the public's attention. When then John F. Kennedy signed this order, it returned to the federal government, specifically the Treasury Department, the constitutional power it created and issue currency money without going through the privately owned Federal Reserve Bank. President Kennedy's Executive Order 11110 gave the Treasury Department the explicit authority to issue silver certificates against any silver bullion, silver, or standard silver dollar in the Treasury. This means that for every ounce of silver in the U.S. Treasury vault, the government could introduce new money into circulation based on the silver bullion physically held there. As a result, more than $4 billion in U.S. dollar notes were brought into circulation in 2 and $5 dollar denominations. 10 and 20 United States notes were never circulated, but were being printed.